Today's video is sponsored by The Grain Hub, and I'm going to be showing you how I cook Sazare Gio. Have you ever tested Gio or Munga that is sand-free and stone-free? Are you looking for great quality Gio, Munga, Mafunde or Mupunga? High in vitamins, minerals, dietary fiber and amino acids. Grain Hub is your one-stop health shop with all products stone-free and sand-free. We are located at number 42 McClary Avenue, Eastley. We are open Mondays to Fridays from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Do pay us a visit and get your healthy products for a healthy lifestyle. Grain Hub, Upumi Utano. So the star of my dish today is the Shio finger millet. The pot I'll be using, similar to a saucepan. The flat rounded wooden spoon used to make salsa and the deep rounded wooden spoon used for serving. Let's get started. I'm going to be adding 100 grams of shio, 150 ml of room temperature water. Give this a good mix until I have a smooth paste. This sadza I'm making today will serve two to three people. Next, I put my pot on high heat and add 800 ml of boiling water whilst stirring simultaneously. As I start off, I have this creamish substance um, on the top of my mixture. The closer I get to boiling, it is going to disappear and I'll have a more uniform color. As you can see, the color is becoming more uniform and we're now waiting for it to thicken. Now my mixture is thickening and at any moment it will start boiling or as we call it in Shona, Ukwata. When it starts boiling, I shave off any excess mixture from my wooden spoon and I will replace the lid and allow this mixture to boil for about 16 minutes. In between the 16 minutes, I prefer to open the pot and stir every two to three minutes. I do this so that the gio does not settle at the bottom of the pot, which may cause it to burn before it is fully cooked or to not quite firm up when you add your shio later on. Again, shave off any excess mixture from your wooden spoon and close the pot. After the 16 minutes or so of boiling, we are ready to cook our sadza. You even smell it that the mixture is ready. Now we start off by adding a little bit at a time and we gently mix as we start off to avoid having a big mess. Scrape off any uncooked shio that you'd have added from the side of your pot and mix. I'm doing this because I want every little bit of shio added to be well cooked. I add a little bit more again and then once again I'm going to mix gently before I begin to rigorously mix or as we call it in Shona, Kumona Sadza. So you see that I am mixing it whilst bringing it to myself to break any lumps that may have formed as I was adding the Gio. I will continue to mix until I am satisfied that the added geo has been well incorporated into the sadza. I will shave off any excess sadza from my wooden spoon and close the pot and allow this to simmer for about 5 minutes on low heat. When it's time to serve, I bring a bowl of water and I will add my deep rounded serving spoon to it. I'm going to mix the sadza one more time before I begin serving. 
I like to pile the sadza in one spot closer to to the handle of the pot. I find that it's easier to serve it this way. Now swirl the spoon in water so that when you dip it in the sadza it won't stick. And there you have it. Serve your sadza with your preferred relish and enjoy. Thanks for watching.